That may well be the hardest piece that I've ever done with uh, this ensemble here at Kutztown University. Uh, it's a great piece. Before I, before we perform our last piece, uh, I just want to say thank you again for everyone for coming out tonight. It's great. Uh, thank you to Dr. Aileen Raisi and her husband Cornell Thomas for the wonderful. Work. And just a little bit about the program, the title, One If By Land, Two If By Sea, obviously from Pennsylvania, you know what that means, the great revolutionary uh, context of that. Um, every piece that we play has some kind of a context to either earth or water, or as we did with George Washington Bridge, something that bridges bum, 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 the, the two, right? We use to connect land over water usually on the bridge. The last piece you may be wondering, Commando March, what does that have to do with anything? Well. Commando March was actually written during the Second World War by the famous American composer who happens to be a Pennsylvania native, Samuel Barber. You might know him better for his music, um, Adagio for Strings, which was made famous uh, in um, the great Vietnam movie. I can't think of it. Pop Ups Now, I apologize. I think it was Pop Ups Now. Uh, yeah, Platoon, sorry. Sorry, my apologies. Thank you very much, Platoon. Um, very slow. This piece is not like that. Uh, he wrote it during the Second World War to try and um, drum up the spirit of uh, the people at home. Uh, it's a very hard march. It's a very unusual march, uh, written and performed, uh, premiered by one of the U.S. Army bands uh, during the Second World War. Probably technically one of the most challenging marches we've ever performed, as well as uh, intonation-wise or harmonic-wise, it doesn't follow what we would consider a traditional John Philip Sousa march, but it's still a, an absolute great march. It was absolutely, I never told the students this, this was the first piece I ever conducted as a collegiate band director when I was, uh, actually, when I was a graduate student at the University of Akron. It was the first piece that I ever conducted with uh, the, uh, the band there, so it's, it means uh, a little bit extra to me. And I'm a trombonist, and it's also got some famous glissandi in it that were a brand new idea for a march, so here is Samuel Barber's uh, Commando March. Thank you again for coming out this evening. Afterwards, please come up and introduce yourself to our students, to our performers. Introduce yourselves to our, uh, our performer and performers, I should say, and our composer. It's important. It's that human interaction. <laughs> 